Moms for America held a press conference at the Capitol to demand safe, secure borders. They are demanding lawmakers to take swift, decisive action to end the epidemic of fentanyl overdoses, trafficking of women and children. My son was a casualty of this war. He was a 19-year-old brilliant boy stolen by fentanyl. His name is Tucker Rowe. We have all these criminals coming across and just committing crimes that they can't, that they just want to do. I mean, what did they take from us? They took my son for a stupid, lousy truck. Today, Moms of America remembered those who were killed along the border. When talking about the Remembrance Project, Maria Espinosa reminds other moms in the room former President Donald Trump supported their organization. He signed a proclamation for our request. Recognizing the first day in November as a national day of remembrance for Americans, our own governor could not do that for y'all. After the press conference, Moms for America gathered in front of the steps of the Capitol to call out Governor Greg Abbott and other state elected officials to take action, specifically that the Texas legislature to secure the passage of Texas House Bill 20, which will create a Texas border protection unit. But he failed to take real action. I know all about Lone, Operation Lone Star, but that did not stop the invasion. They actually helped bring people in and process them quicker. Since the launch of Operation Lone Star, there has been over 350,000 border apprehensions and more than 25,000 criminal arrests. And they have seized enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in the entire United States of America. At the Capitol, Jessica Rivera, Fox 7 Austin News.